Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Akash here with us who recently got into Cloudera as an intern and a full-time employee uh, through his campus placements at VIT. Today he is here to share his interview experience with us. Before we talk to him, let us just look at the eligibility criteria. So the students of Computer Science, IT and ECM were eligible and with they, they should also have a, a CGP of 8 in their 10th, 12th as well as in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Okay, so now let's talk to him. Hi Akash, welcome to my channel. Uh, Hi Jishna. Firstly, congratulations on your placement. And would you like to introduce yeah. yourself first? Uh, yeah, so I think you already mentioned my name, Akash. <laughs> and yeah, I'm currently doing my final year in VIT Chennai and I'm interning at Cloudera, okay. the machine learning team of Cloudera to be more specific. Okay. And yeah, it's still going pretty good till now. Okay, okay. So now can you tell us about the hiring process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of? Okay, yeah, so as you probably already know, uh, Cloudera essentially deals with big data and uh, AI cloud, those domains. And what they were hiring for is essentially software engineering interns mm. for various teams or various verticals that is within Cloudera. Mm. And the hiring process essentially was divided into four steps. First one was the coding test or the written test, mm. uh, where we had like three coding questions if I'm not wrong and one SQL question. Mm. Uh, the question uh, to, what, to what I remember at least now is that the one of the questions in the coding round was essentially string manipulation to make the paragraph no, paragraph in a particular format. Mm. Another one was finding the biggest, make, making the biggest number from the given strings in mm. a mm. list which is a lead code question if I'm not wrong. And I don't remember the third one but it had to do something with sorting if I'm not wrong. Okay. So yeah, those were the questions. Uh, most of the questions were like questions that you already know. Sorry, the third question was actually a com common subsequence. Okay. Mm. Something along those lines, mm. using that concept in a, in a different area. Mm. Uh, these were the four questions. The SQL question was a medium level question which used to join or like correlated mm. mm. And the questions were essentially similar to the questions you do in lead code or any other platform. Okay. And the SQL question again was a medium level question. Almost all the questions were medium level. Hmm. If you take your time, you could solve okay. all of them. Hmm. Uh, the paragraph question was the one I did not solve completely. I failed a couple of test cases. Not wrong. Okay. And the other other three questions, I got all the test cases right. And the coding test was done on HackerRack. Hmm. Uh, once the coding test was done, we got the results, if I'm not wrong, the next day. Okay. And the interview was scheduled for scheduled on Tuesday. The coding test was on Sunday. Okay. And we essentially had three rounds of interview: mm. uh, technical interview one, technical interview two, and then the hiring manager one. Mm. The first interview essentially was to think, was to evaluate how you think your analytical skills, and they asked some technical questions, like coding questions, in that mainly. Uh, one of the questions, if I'm not wrong, was like a pyramid, and you had to do a bottom-up search to find the Longest the uh, the sequence which is giving mm. which is giving you the largest sum or something along those lines. And initially they did not ask me to code. They essentially were like, okay, we'll start from the most basic thing, most basic couple of what we can go with, and then we'll go step by step to improve the efficiency. Okay. And once we were like certain, it was a two-way dialogue with the interviewer and we we both were almost solving the problem together. Mm. And essentially, uh, after we had come to a conclusion like, yeah, this is going to work, uh, he asked me to write the code for that. Mm. And I and I prefer Python as a programming language mm. in, in interviews and coding runs. Okay. So I particularly use, I use Python to do that particular program. Okay. And then there was another question. I don't remember. I think it was the case highest term or something. I think it was the case largest element in the uh, list or an array. Okay. And it was, and we had discussion around the heap sort and the heap architecture, heap mm. data structure. Mm. After that, uh, he went back to the question that was in the coding round, in the first technical okay. first coding test, mm. and he picked the answer that I had, and he had picked the answer that I had given for that, oh. and he was like, "How will you improve it?" Okay. Uh, in that in that coding round, I had used a normal bubble sort or some other mm. sort, which was O of n square. Mm. So we discussed about other sorting algorithms and how the time time complexity could be reduced. Okay. And another thing that he had asked was, why didn't I use the inbuilt sort function in Python? Mm. Because that would have solved the problem faster sooner, mm. and I could have focused elsewhere. Mm. Uh, the main reason for that was Python's inbuilt sort thing has a particular.
particular constraint mm. which is not satisfy that particular problem mm. and like there is a library in nat sort of which does what we want here but we could i don't know if we can import such uh, stuff so i was like yeah let's do it mm. from the scratch mm. that was the main point there uh the first technical interview is the interview was really kind he was really helpful mm. and we almost was fine in each other the whole mm. time okay the second in, the, after the first interview i got a mail saying yeah we have a circuit for the second technical round okay and it was scheduled almost immediately after so the first interview was at 1:30 if i'm not wrong and the second was at 3 okay the second interview was much more in depth and it went much longer the first interview was around 45 minutes hmm the second one was around 1 and 1/2 hour okay or 1 hour to be hmm it was supposed to be for one hour and it got extended a bit hmm and in the second interview instead of focusing on like particular problem like initially it was get a large element or so in the first interview they were discussing more of concept okay more of like uh, semaphores os networking etc hmm and he asked me to write a code for um, a multi threading if i'm not wrong okay you take some semaphore etc and i had again done it in python using the threading model okay and the second interview we we had a really long discussion on how semaphores work and how mutex work what is the difference hmm that it will be used with what and those things and then he asked me a puzzle one of those cake for cake puzzles mm. uh, it puzzle actually was rat poison i don't know the exact word it mm. but you essentially have to represent it in binary form so you can get the minimum value okay okay mm. minimum number of test or something like that okay after that he asked me a database question a sql query the sql query essentially was like you have to left join the the table with it sir hmm. to get the answer okay and i don't remember the exact question but it was basically this hmm. and the second interview actually i was a bit scared <laughs> to be honest because i was not very comfortable with multi threading and hmm. semaphores but i had a basic understanding hmm. because it was a while since i had read that and i did not focus on it a lot okay but i had prep before the interview, interview. like i had i did know what this is okay and after the second interview i was a little skeptical if i am going to be get call, called for the third one hmm. but i fortunately was okay uh, the third interview was the hiring manager which was a kind of a mix hmm. between uh, managerial round and the uh, normal technical round hmm. Hmm. and i got this and the interview that i had was an extraordinary person hmm. it was really fun to talk to okay and we essentially just started off with introduction and uh, basic stuff we were just chatting for about 15 minutes or so hmm. and once we had a basic bandwidth basic understanding or wavelength hmm. uh he we moved on to a few technical questions like how does networking work if hmm. i'm querying something in google or if i'm asking uh, hmm. google to show me a page hmm. what actually happens hmm. caching mechanism and so on and so forth hmm. uh it mainly dealt with that question and there were a lot more questions on my project my resume in each and every round there were questions on my resume obviously but in the hiring manager round the focus was on oh. the internship that i had done and the project that i had okay. in the resume okay so he essentially asked me do you want to pick up an internship that you want to describe about because the recent one hmm so uh, i did a tax internship and i had decided to use that as an example hmm. which is the canadian uh and then we were discussing about projects and essentially that in the in that particular project i had not done the what would be called as the state of the art mm, okay model in the machine learning model mm. but rather it was one of the old models which will get debugged mm. so we were discussing like is it the should we always go for state of the art or should we like if something works do we have to keep improving it or is there a limit like financially or mm. from a company standpoint mm. okay and once that was done it was we it was around 5:30 when the 5:45 when the interview ended and we had a really good chat up there okay and i just sat down after that i didn't know what to do hmm. because okay. i didn't have anything else planned for that day so i was just sitting i think there was a football match on i was just watching that okay and like around 9:30 we got the result and four people were selected hmm and yeah it felt really good to be honest because it was around a month in after the placement had started and somewhere along those lines i also had like okay i need to get something now i need to get something now because while there was some pressure per se from the family you automatically feel a sense of 
okay, okay, case companies are going, case companies are going ahead. I have to do something now. Yeah. What am I doing wrong? Yeah. That, that and Cloudera is a good company also, so yeah. that is also there. Because, and I, that time I also did not know the team I was going to be assigned to, mm. to be honest. Mm. I particularly was interested in machine learning, uh, deep learning and those domain. And during the hiring manager round, he had asked me, like, you, you have mentioned in your resume that you are, are into machine learning. And why Cloudera does machine learning, it's more along these those lines of helping the customers build on top of it. Okay. okay. Build their models on top of the architecture. Okay. So it's like a ML ops kind of thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So with that interest you, and obviously I was interested in that. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that was a, one of the main questions that were asked in the hiring manager on this one. Okay. Okay. Mm. Got it. Okay, that's great. Thank you for sharing your experience. Um, now, do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into Cloudera specifically? Uh, okay, Cloudera specifically, it is, I don't think I'm in a position at the moment, at least I'm just two months in mm-hmm. the internship. So I, I'm, I, what I know about Cloudera now, at least, is that there is a wide range of team and each team has their own tech stack, their own specialties. And it believes in open source completely. So they, most of the technologies that are used here are built on top of already existing Apache project like Hadoop or anything. Mm-hmm. So get, uh, getting a, having a knowledge of these open source technologies and maybe even contributing, with, even if it is just fixing the bugs or reporting a bug even in the GitHub page of yeah. Apache. Thing, yeah. That itself is a major highlight for them. Mm. Or any any company for that matter, because mm. it shows that you are and you understand the concept yeah. and you are willing to contribute. Mm. Okay. Besides that, I, it's hard to like prepare these technology or prepare these particular, I would say, tech stack also, because it, because again you can't prepare for a company when you're sitting for a yeah, you yeah, have to correct. prepare for everything. Mm. But I th- and I have watched all your interview experiences till now, so I don't think mm. that is much left to cover in terms of technical question, geek for geek speed, but those have been mentioned each yeah. and every time. Yeah. On a completely different tangent, mentally just stay chill and it, things work out at the end. When, mm. when you least expect it, you just get a job suddenly. Yeah. Because I was not expecting this one. The day we had the clouded exam, actually we had four other things and I was rejected in all of the things. All of the, other three exams. Okay, okay. So this was the only one I was selected in that day. So things just work out randomly and just keep updating yourself. Like when you are in an interview and you're not, you're not been selected, you're rejected. Just see what you did wrong and what you can improve on that. Mm. And also like open source contribution probably helps a lot in terms of getting into a company that believes in the open source company. Mm. Okay, okay. Okay, that's great. Uh, thank you again for sharing. Yeah. And yeah, thank you. Thank you.